वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम वन डैश नाइन्टी सिक्स सो स्टेटमेंट इज द पिन सपोर्ट ए एंड रोलर सपोर्ट बी ऑफ द ब्रिज ट्रस आर सपोर्टेड ऑन कंक्रीट एबेडमेंट्स इफ स्क्वेयर बेरिंग प्लेट एट सी एंड डी आर ट्वेंटी वन बाई ट्वेंटी वन इंच एंड द बेरिंग फेलियर स्ट्रेस फॉर कंक्रीट इज फोर के एस आई डिटरमाइन द फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी अगेंस्ट बेरिंग फेलियर फॉर कंक्रीट अंडर ईच प्लेट सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ ट्रस ब्रिज दैट इज हैविंग pin support at a and a roller support at b and that is placed on concrete apartment at c and d clear so bearing failure stress is 4 ksi the the dimension of these bearing plates are 21 by 21 inch clear there are square 21 by 21 inch clear and you have to find the factor of safety for each plate so let's start with the solution our first step is that if we remove this pin support so definitely there will be a reaction force let like this is ay and there will be a horizontal force as well which is ax similarly if you remove a roller support at point b so definitely there will be a, a वर्टिकल फोर्स दैट इज़ रिप्रेजेंटेड एज बी वाई सो वी विल अप्लाई इक्विलिब्रियम कंडीशन इन आर्डर टू फाइंड दिस फोर्स इज द फर्स्ट इक्विलिब्रियम कंडीशन इज दैट सम ऑफ ऑल मूवमेंट अबाउट पॉइंट ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड टेकिंग द काउंटर क्लाक वाइज मूवमेंट एज पॉजिटिव सो अबाउट दिस पॉइंट ए द फर्स्ट मूवमेंट इज ड्यू टू दिस बी वाई एंड परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस इज थर्टी सिक्स एंड दैट विल प्रोड्यूस counter clockwise movement so it will be positive the second movement is 100 into perpendicular distance is 36 and it is producing clockwise the third movement is due to 200 and perpendicular distance is this 30 and that is clockwise the fourth movement is due to this and perpendicular distance is this 24 and the other moment is due to this force and perpendicular distance is 18 and so on so i will write one by one the first moment is due to uh, this by so by into perpendicular distance is 36 and it is producing counter clockwise minus 100 into 36 minus 200 into 30 minus 300 into 24 Minus three hundred into eighteen, minus three hundred into twelve, minus three hundred into six. Their sum must be equal to zero. So when you solve this, you will get B Y will be equal to seven six six point seven kips. Now for finding a y, we will apply another equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point B is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment is positive. So about point B, the first moment is one fifty and perpendicular distance is this thirty six and it is producing counterclockwise, so it will be positive. The second moment is due to this a y into perpendicular distance is thirty six and it is clockwise and similarly each force that is producing a uh, movement in counter clockwise they all will be represented over below so 150 into perpendicular distance is 36 it will be positive plus um, 3 uh, plus 300 into perpendicular distance is 30 plus 300 into perpendicular distance is 24 plus 300 to perpendicular distance is 18 plus 300 into perpendicular distance is 12 plus 200 into perpendicular distance 6 minus a y into 36 their sum must be equal to 0 so when you solve this you will get this a y is equal to Eight eighty three point three kips. Now these two vertical reaction forces will be acting on this concrete abutment. So thus, axial forces acting on C and D are F C is equal to A Y. you can see over here at c we have a y so and at b we have at uh, d we have b y which is f d 
and this is 883.3 kips and fd is equal to by and that is equal to 766.7 kips now um, we know that allowable bearing stress allowable bearing stress at point d at c and d are so at c at c we have allowable bearing stress at point c is equal to fc divided by area at c so fc is equal to 883.33 divided by area of each plate is given as 21 by 21 inch so it will be equal to 441 square inch so 441 so when you solve this you will get 2.003 ksi similarly at point d we have bearing stress at point d is equal to fd over ad so fd is equal to 766.7 divided by area is both plates are same so area is 441 so when you solve this it will give you 7.1.738 ksi so bearing stress at point c and bearing stress at point d has been have been calculated now uh, we are going to find out the factor of safety so we know that we know that factor of safety is equal to uh, failure bearing stress divided by allowable bearing stress clear so for c for c uh, factor of safety will be equal to failure stress for bearing divided by bearing stress at c so failure stress was 4 ksi divided by 2.003 so it will give you 2 so for bearing uh, for bearing plate at c we have factor of safety of 2 similarly for d we have factor of safety for bearing plate d is equal to failure bearing stress divided by bearing stress at d so 4 divided by 1.738 will yield you 2.30 so this is the 2 is the factor of safety for bearing plate at c while 2.30 is the factor of safety for bearing plate at d so this was all about problem 1.96 i hope you are enjoying from my videos and you are also learning it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching